In this video, we are going to talk about how to use Yoast local SEO plugin to get your local business listed in Google search results. So if you want to take your local business online and take it to a new level in Google search results, then keep watching and I'll show you everything step by step. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about WordPress. And if you want to learn more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss the next videos that we publish. So if you have a local business like a wedding planner or a restaurant or a boutique and you surely want to get listed in Google search results so that when people search about the services that you provide or the products that you sell in your local business, they get listed in Google search results. So that is the place where Yoast local SEO plugin can help you out. So let me show you how the local listing works in Google and how this plugin can help you optimize that. Now let's say you are searching for wedding planners in your particular city. So whenever you enter that keyword in Google search results, you will see a Google map with some points for these local businesses and below that you get all the details about various local business listed in Google. Now another case is that people came to know about your uh, services or your local business and they search your name in Google and if your business is listed in Google local search results then it might show up like this where you have the images and the map and all the details about your local business in the Google search results itself. So this is where Yoast local SEO plugin can help you. It can help you create a Google optimized local business listing so that it increases your chances to get ranked when someone is searching about your service in your service area. So let's see how this plugin works. So for that, we go back to our WordPress dashboard. So once again, this is a premium paid plugin from Yoast. So if you want to purchase that, I will leave a link in the description below. And once you do the purchase, you will get a zip file of the plugin that you need to install in the WordPress. And for that, you need to go to plugins and then click on add new. And then we will click on upload plugin. And here we will upload the zip file that we got after purchasing the local SEO plugin. So here is my zip file. And after that, I'll just go ahead and click on install now. All right. So now we have the Yoast SEO plugin here. And below that, we have a new plugin Yoast SEO local. Now let's go ahead and check all the settings available for this. So for that, we need to go to this SEO icon here. And below that, you see that we have a new option added for local SEO. So let's go ahead and click on that. So here are the options from this plugin, which can help us create a Google optimized local business listing. So the first option we have is my business has multiple locations. So if your business got multiple locations, then you need to choose yes. And there will be a little change in the settings. But right now we are considering that your business got only one location. So we keep it on no, and we will consider that we are working on a single location local business. And below that, we have an option to update our company name and logo. So for that, we need to go to settings, which will actually take us back to the normal settings of Yoast SEO plugin, which we have already covered in our previous videos. So if you want to see the detailed video of how we updated our logo and all these settings in Yoast SEO plugin, then you can check the video in the I button above and I will leave a link for the full playlist in the description below as well. So here in the settings page, we have already covered that how we can upload the uh, local business or the organization logo and how we can update or add a name to this organization. So we have done that already. So let's go back to the local SEO here. All right. So here we have the uh, business type as organization. You can go ahead and select that as per your business type. So if you do not find your preferred choice in this list, you can always go ahead and select local business from here. And after that, you just need to enter your local business details like the address, the city, the state. And below that, the options are pretty straightforward. So you can fill up all of them pretty easily. 
So once all that is done, you just need to click on save changes. And after that, we have an option for opening hours. So if you select hide opening hours option, so it will not show the opening hours for your business. Just in case you are an e-commerce business and do not want to show the working hours. So it's obvious that your e-commerce website is working 24 seven. So you can hide that option from there. But if in case you want to enter that, you can enter all the details here. Here you have the option to select the days and the time or you can also select open 24 hours. And after that, you will just click on save changes. And the next option is map setting, which is actually linked to the API key. So here you need to get the Google's Maps API key. I really wish if Yoast could add a process where users don't have to go manually in the Google account and then generate the API key, there should be an automated option because everyone, especially those who will be using this plugin are not technically advanced that they can get the API key from the Google Maps and then use it here. So we will create a separate video for how you can generate the API key. So if it is already published, I will add the link in the i button above. So the next option is advanced settings, which is only applicable when we choose multiple locations. So let's see what options we have if we select the business locations as multiple. So if in case you have multiple business locations, so let's turn it to on and below that we have option for all locations are part of same business. So let's click on yes. And once you turn that on and click on save changes, you will notice that we have a new custom post type added here that is locations. And from here we can go ahead and add different locations for our business. So you can go ahead and add multiple locations for your business from here. So this post type will act as a landing page for that particular business location. So the interface looks very much like any blog post editor. So you just need to enter the title of your new location. And below that you can use the WordPress editor to just create a landing page for this location. And if we go down, we have the Yoast local SEO settings here. So here we see almost all the options that we have just added for our uh, single local business location. So when we are creating this business location, we get all the options that we get for our single business location. Again, in the second option, we can enter the opening hours as well. So this is how you can use to add multiple locations for your business. So now as we have the multiple locations turned on and we have a custom post type for adding different locations. Now if we go to the advanced settings here we see that we have the permanent links option for the locations. So once you add a new location you have an option to give it a permanent link. So instead of locations you can maybe enter branches or instead of branches you can also type in uh, stores. So this is how you can give a URL structure to the location base. And below that we have the location category base. So you can also give a location category to all these uh, locations that you will create in the custom post type. And here is an option for how this custom post type will be labeled here. So I will leave it as it is. And below that you also have an option to include business location in site wide search result. So if somebody comes to your website and they want to search about your different location. So you can include this locations that you have created using this custom post type get listed in the search results on your website. So if you want, you can turn it on or off as per your requirement. So right now we are keeping the business information for only one location and then we will click on save changes. Now another advantage of this local SEO plugin that it comes with some widgets which you can use while designing your website. So if we go to appearance and then click on widgets and if we scroll down, so here are some widgets from this local SEO plugin that you can uh, drag and drop in your sidebar or maybe in your footer depending upon your theme. So here you can show the address of your local listing. You can also show if your local business is open or closed. And using this widget, you can also show the opening hours for your local business. These widgets can be very helpful when you are designing the website for your local business. So this is how easy it is to use Yoast local SEO plugin and optimize your local business website for Google local search results. 
So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and help the YouTube algorithm get this video to all those local business owners who want to list their website in Google search result. And if you want to learn more about Yoast SEO, then make sure you check all the complete playlist here. And if you want to learn more about WordPress in general, then make sure you subscribe to Magazine 3 YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified for our next videos. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.